uh, in the 2020 43 update uh, yeah. that we got. Yeah. Uh, I know it's our next topic. And, 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 why, and why was it? Why was it better? <laughs> so there's a street that I drive on fairly frequently that the speed signs have changed over the last year. And Tesla's obviously is using old map data, which is outdated. So I'd always have to manually adjust my speed throughout. So I jump from like 80 down to 70, up to 80, down to 70. And uh, honestly, like police have had like, it's been a dream for police on that road over the last year because of all the, the speed changes of people not knowing. So if you're doing 10 over and you're doing 90 and a 70 afterwards, you know, it's not uh, not good. So yeah. uh, today for the first time driving on the road, I did not have to readjust my speed once. So like world of difference because Tesla can now read speed signs, obviously, right? So yeah, uh, makes a huge difference in uh, driving experience. So it is. It does. It, it should. I'm. I'm talking like I know, but I just got the update today. If folks, if you don't know what we're talking about, uh, the newest, latest update in uh, version ten point two, which is build number twenty twenty dot forty, and it first started out like dot zero one and dot zero three, but now it's actually. 40.3 and uh it's rolled out it's, it started trickling out a little bit uh the day before and then yesterday and today they seem to be putting it out in mass frankly got his yesterday i got mine just before we started about an hour before we started and um yeah it's good it, it brings some improvements one of the ones that uh, franklin was touched on there is finally here in canada at least we've got a uh, speed sign recognition using the camera and which I don't know if it was fluke of luck because uh, it was asked in the comments. Uh, it does work in school zones. It's one. It was one of those flashing school zone areas, and it dropped right down to forty. It detected the flashing light Good. as if it was a street light, but um, nonetheless, it went from fifty down to forty like instantly. And I was like yeah. super impressed. So you got to be careful with school zones though, because I'll tell you, yeah, like most. I'm sure I'm like most people where you you know how you can do that that difference between five and 10 kilometers or 15 kilometers or whatever. Zero but, in the school zone. Yeah. In, in a school zone, you don't want to be going a kilometer or a mile over 40. When we say 40, we're talking kilometers folks in, in the States. I don't know what the school zone uh, restrictions is, are in miles. I'm guessing 25, but if, if yeah, you see, I'm, translate the same. I'm exactly like UDEX. I have my to tolerance of going over, but in school zones, like I personally maintain like a zero over. You got like it. I I'm under, I'm usually under, not over, right? Uh, yeah. It's, I exactly. understand the safety of the situation and uh, it's just not worth it, right? There are still some things, and I'm planning to make a video of this. There's some things where it does pick up. It'll pick up fake stop signs or fake streetlights and it will come to a stop when it shouldn't. Um, so, and I still notice it with the newest update. So just keep that in mind. It, it's good. It fixes a lot of the speed limit stuff, but there's some areas where it has outdated map data and it's still picking that up even though the cameras aren't so yeah well and i was gonna say you know what you're absolutely right because i noticed we're driving last week somewhere and i was coming up to and tell me in the comments below if you guys experience this too coming up to a railroad track and you know the railroad tracks have the red lights they weren't flashing obviously i also wouldn't have gone through it and i wouldn't be here to tell the story if i did but it detected the railroad track the lights uh, for the, the crossing lights because I saw it depicted in in the uh, on the screen and it started slowing down because it, it thought it was a red light or a flashing red light or something but it actually thought it was and it was slow, slowing down if not I didn't let it stop but I'm assuming if I'd let it it would have probably stopped and uh there was something else I that I saw that yeah it detected falsely but and that was once again that was before 40.3 which we're getting if not if you don't already have it in the last 24 hours. So there's that. And my last point on, on the speed stuff is that you got to be careful because I, I was telling my wife when it was downloading and installing today, I said, oh, so this is what the car is going to do now. She drives it like 5% of the time, but I let her know. And she's like, oh, that's amazing. And I'm like, well, it's good, but some cars already, some cars have had it for a while, right? Like it's not, it's not only an only Tesla thing. But I said to her, I said, there's, Parts in Burlington, which is an area around where we live here, that I can actually go, it says 60, but for some reason it thinks it's 80 and I can go faster. Now, maybe I shouldn't because I'm going to get a ticket eventually, but uh, 
I'm going to miss that because I can go faster in those zones and it didn't detect it. But now with this new recognition, it's going to know that it's 60. So I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to, I'm going to hate that part of it. It had some, this update has some other good stuff uh, real yeah. quick. There's a Bluetooth. Um, so it? if you have multiple people using your, your car or multiple phones, uh, you can toggle on uh, in the top right, just tap Bluetooth. You can toggle on a primary Bluetooth device. So it's yep. going to check for that one first. Um, it has a uh, glove box pin, uh, which uh, as an in, if you have stump something in your glove box and you don't want someone to enter, you can put a pin on your glove box. So you need the pin to be able to open it. It asks for the pin, whether you're trying to manually hit glove box or uh, do it through voice. 